Ah, the blissful ignorance. Do you guys know what's the best part about not having played the beta? Not having kept up with all the systems, all of the what to do in the first weeks, checking out all of the, the renowns, the animas, the callings, and all of that? Well, the best part is that when Blizzard changes something last minute, you have no idea. You didn't know about it before, so to you it changes nothing. But to someone who has been storing a galactic amount of information about this expansion, it looks like a clusterfuck. Because there is things changing last minute, things missing, things not working properly, so it's quite a mess. Now, let's go over it for a second. Yesterday, we had an attempted big change by Blizzard, which was the looking for group tool, right? I've seen the comments. Looks like people don't really give a shit about socializing, about making friends for something as menial as world quests. People just want to zone in, tag their fucking mob, get the loot and leave. Okay, this seems to be the will of the people. Which is probably why Blizzard backtracked on their decision and went back to the old ways of Legion and BFA. Now, what is it that actually changed? So, today we have had a new discovery. Once again, another day where I was completely exiled from the rest of the world. I was just doing nothing but leveling and everyone else was just doing heroics and mythic zeros and doing their callings, their Torghast, their Mo. So, I was looking at this as an outsider and I saw a lot of people perplexed. Why am I not? Renown rank 4. Where is my last Renown? Why am I stuck at 3? Is a quest bugged? Oh my god, did I fuck something up? Well, no. Turns out, Blizzard launched another sneaky change for Renown. This quest right here. No, I'm not cheating, and I am the only one who ever got this quest, this is just the beta. This is Return Lost Souls, which is one of your weekly quests you will do from next week, that gives you one Renown. And this quest is missing from live. Apparently, maybe, Possibly, because of course Blizzard said nothing about this. This is one of the introductory quests you do when you go into the Mo, when you talk to Venari and you have to pick five souls. So apparently it was in bad taste to give you a repeat quest with the same style or something. Either way, this quest is not going to be here on the first week, which means you will be missing one Renown. Now, for the casuals, for the laid back people that don't really care about this, just go ahead and skip this because it's irrelevant to you. For everyone else, is there any crucial thing that's gonna happen? Are you screwed? Did you just pick a covenant banking on getting a specific potency conduit on a certain week? Which would have been weird, but still. No, it still doesn't change too much. The real biggest change is that your third soul bind is going to reach the potency conduit number one and the potency conduit number two one week later. So on week eight of the expansion instead of week seven or week 11 instead of week 10. So we're talking about two months from now, two and a half months from now, so it's not really very relevant, right? It's not going to change much about your choice, about your picks or whatever. The real smaller change is simply going to be that some of the passive traits you will unlock and some of the renowned bonuses will be unlocked by an entire extra week. Because of course, all of the renowned gain is going to get bumped down by one. So one of your passive soulbind traits, you will reach it on week three instead of week two. Your second soulbind trait after that is going to be reached on week 4 instead of week 3, and then the following one on week 5 instead of week 4. That's going to be just about the biggest change of this sneak fix by Blizzard. Again, it's not going to hurt that much, it's just sort of annoying that Blizzard said nothing, mentioned it nowhere, and it just happened. It's a little bit annoying. Now, on to another possible change, another possible thing we don't really know about for sure, which is going to be Solash. No, 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 don't panic. Nothing happened to Solash yet. Okay. The expected earning of your Solash is going to be 610, 305 from the third floor of one of the wings available, and then 305 from the other wing. The extra 200 you get from the Torghast quest chain, the first part of the Torghast quest chain that's going to be unlocked week by week. The first week, you will get 200. On the following week, the next week, you will get 100. Now, an extra 100 was supposed to be earned in the beta by your mission table Solash mission. That's a long sentence. You know how in BFA, even in Legion, you add this weekly quest in your mission table that could give you AP? And even later, that could give you Titan Residuum? Yeah, in Shadowlands you have a weekly quest that can give you Solash. Now the problem is that previously this quest was always available, and then apparently it was bumped up to 
unlocking when you unlock the mission table rank 3. When you go into your covenant and look at your buildings, you have to get the mission table to rank 3. Now, you will not get the mission table to rank 3 anytime soon, because you're going to be needing some 15,000, 16,000 anima for that to happen. So if that's the case, then you're going to be having 100 less Solash, at least for the next few weeks. Now, this is still going to allow you to have a tier 2 legendary by the time Heroic opens. What is not going to allow you is to have a tier 4 legendary by the second week of Mythic Raiding, because you would be missing about 400 Solash from the mission table you're not getting. So that's going to be 5,070 instead of 5,470, and the tier 4 legendary costs 5,150. I know, I know, this is this is going to, to matter to like 0.1% of the player base, so let's just skip past this. But it can be relevant to some. That's the only possible change. We just don't know yet because Blizzard ain't saying shit. So this is a possibility. But now, now let's just let's just leave the treacherous ways of Blizzard behind us. Let's talk about something more relaxed. And let's talk about how was your day? Because this is the third day. The first day, you know, not a long day with a midnight release and a, you know, late afternoon release in the US. The second day, lots of server problems. Most people probably got to max level. But this not day, bad. today, is the day where you finally, or most people are finally at max level and they're starting to interface in the end game systems. Mythic Zero, before Mythic Plus is going to open, and then you have the Call Links, as well as Renown. You have the Weekly Quest, you have the Mo, you have Torghast. For me, of course, as already shown in the last couple of days, I've been a hermit. I have excluded myself from the world. Everyone around me was doing heroics and mythic zeros and whatnot, and I was just leveling non-stop, so now it's done. I can finally play the game. The characters are max level. Although there has been a little bit of a bump. I foreshadowed this in my choosing my main video. Unfortunately, I picked the character with energy, and it was only a level 54 that I realized I was playing a druid and not a rogue. But at that point it was too late, so I just kept rolling with Druid. So for the next couple of days we will go into some dungeon-focused videos, as that is pretty much what I will have to do. Non-stop now. 24 different Mythic Zeros on 3 different characters. Now, as for you, how did you find them all? Awkward silence. Um, I have been rather critical of them all. I mentioned it before that even after the promises or the attempts, you know, the even maybe possibly honest attempts a blizzard of making the more interesting to me it kind of still looks the same it's just a map that you open and then you look at handy notes and you head over to all the events and the rares you wait for people you tag the rare you get your reputation and your stygia and then you go again until you reach rank 5 and leave it doesn't seem that much different than world quests to be honest there are some added annoyances you know mobs are more dangerous there is no mount in there but for the most part, it's going to be about the same to me. It doesn't look that different. What about Torghast? I am a fan of Torghast, of course. I'm sure lots of people, especially more casual players, people more interested in solo experiences, are going to have a ton of fun in Torghast, which is also why you should remember my teachings and go back and level some alts, because if you like Torghast, then the more alts you have, the better. I do think it's enjoyable, although I don't enjoy the way they scrapped the endless Torghast system. Now the endless Torghast has been relegated to a measly 18 floors that you can do. I wish it could have been a little bit bigger, you know, a little bit crazy in terms of scaling, but I guess they thought it would have been too hard to balance. But for me, it's definitely positive. So as we close this day in Shadowlands, we will end with a question. The question is, have you guys thought about what legendary to craft? Of course, I said it's better to wait, and of course, many exquisite players will just wait for raid release to even craft anything but many other people just won't give a shit and will craft something so if they will craft something then the question is what do you know what you want to craft are you more focused on raids are you more focused on mythic plus or are you just opening a guide and reading what it tells you to pick and picking it if you're asking me then the answer is no i don't know i haven't even looked at it yet i haven't even looked in depth done any sims whatsoever of any kind because it's just too early for me i'm interested in knowing your reasonings behind legendaries i'm just going to tell you ahead of time that your reasonings are wrong the reason for that is that it's just too early but i will be willing to entertain them in the comments anyways see you guys soon in about 
eh, 24 hours or so, I guess. And in the meantime, it's back to leveling. Oh, no, wait, I'm done. I'm done. It's over. 